Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning, grade two. Uh, I missed you too much. Do you still remember last week we used rulers and meter stick? Why? Okay, we used it to measure length. Yes, excellent. I saw your work was excellent in measurement. You did great, guys. Our lesson today is also about measurement. But today we will learn the units about the units of measurement. I have centimeters for short object, we said it before, and meters for long object, also we said it before. Do you still remember? Yes, I know. Okay, today we will relate centimeters and meters we will relate them together how do we relate them why did we say relate them why because sometimes when i know the number of the centimeters i can know the number in meters by using this relation between them i'll tell you what is this relation I told you the relation before, I guess. Yes, I said it before. Who remembered? I know who. You're all of you. Yes, we said that one meter, we can say M for meter, one meter is equal to how many centimeters? To 100. centimeters and we said that we can write cm for centimeters for centimeters so one meter is equal to 100 centimeters okay what if i said two meters two meters is equal to how many centimeters Yes, great. You're so smart. It's 200 centimeter. What if I, if, what if I changed it? If I said um, three meters, great. It's going to be 300 centimeters. So which one is a smaller unit? Centimeters is, is, is the smaller unit, while the meters is a bigger unit. This is big unit, bigger, and this is small unit, okay? And both units are used to measure length. Now, I want from you to look at this picture. Look at it carefully. You have windows, you have a poster, and you have a clock, you have tables, chairs, books, uh, trays. Now. I want you to choose a large object from the picture, such as a table or a window. Find it in your school. Now you can find it in your room. So instead of a school, we can use our room. Measure the object in centimeters, then measure the object in meters. Now. Let us discuss the measurement with our mommies. Okay, I told you something. I didn't tell you that. I measured the table that I have in my room, okay, in my house. I used the centimeters first, okay? And it was 200 centimeters. It was so long. I used 200 centimeters. So it was very difficult for me to use centimeters to measure it. So I go to bring my meter stick and it was two meters only, which is amazing. Now I can know it easily by using meters. So 200 centimeters because it's smaller than the meters is equal to 2 meters. Great job. You measure the own object and show me your work. Send me the page you solve with your mommy. Okay, waiting for your pages. 
we're done with page 703 put a star on it and then go to page 704 now let's read the rule together i have some rules we can read it together and underline it and think about it now you can use different units of length to measure the same object. You can use different units of length to measure the same object. The basketball hoop is about 3 meters. Look at it. It's so long. So it's about 3 meters tall. Think little bit, what's then 3 meters equal to in centimeters? It is equal to 300. Great. So, I want you all of you to put a big, 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 big heart in this hint. And use it every time. So, 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. Now, I want you on this page to find the object measured the length of each object twice. Why twice? Twice means two times, okay? The first time with the centimeters and the second time for meters, okay? I will help you with the first one. I have a door in my room and it was... 300 centimeters, which is so, so, so long. It's very high. So how many meters? It's a three meters. Do you want me to do the second one with you? Let's do it. Now, my chair now, it is about... Mm, 200 centimeters okay so how many meters is long okay it's tall by two meters got it now i want you to do the last one alone and send me your solving great job with a star on this page it's 704 now go to the third the third page You will, guys, here again, find the object and try to measure it twice, okay? The first one in centimeters and the second one in meters, okay? You can use the meter stick or the metric tape. You can use the tape and you have meters and centimeters. Both are written on the same tape, okay? Don't forget. The first time centimeters, the second time is meters. Okay, now go to the fourth one. I will solve with you one question and you will solve the rest alone. Now, boys, open and girls, open page 706. Open page 706 and let's do it together. Now, look at the problem solving, page, question number nine. Kate's garden is nine meters long. Stella's garden is 954 centimeters long. Whose garden is longer? Okay, again, I will repeat it. Kate's garden is 9 meters long. Stella's garden is 954 centimeters long. Whose garden is longer? Okay. I have in this story two characters. The first one called Kate and the second character called Stella. They both have gardens. Okay? But one of them has longer garden than the other one. 
Kate's garden is 9 meters, while Stella's garden is 954 centimeters. Okay, I'll get, I will tell you something. First of our, oh, uh, first of everything, first of all, I cannot compare with two different units. 9 meters and 954 centimeters, how can I compare two different units, one big, one small? Meters and centimeters, you can make them both in centimeters, which is easier. Do you remember the heart I drew for you around the hint? One meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So one meter is equal to 100 centimeter. That means nine meter will be equal to 900, not 900 centimeter. Now you can compare. Now you have centimeter here and centimeters here. 900, Kate's garden is 900 centimeters. While Stella's garden is 954 centimeters. Now you can compare. You have nine in both hundreds of place, in both numbers and hundreds of place, and you have five and one in the tens of place, and zero in the other number of the tens of place. Let's see. So which one is bigger? 954 is bigger. So 954 centimeters is longer than nine meters. Why? Because nine meters is equal to 900 centimeters. Guys, it's really easier for you to make both units the same. Okay? So change the meters to centimeters. Nine meters, easy. 900 centimeters. Now I compare. So the first step to change the meters to the centimeters, then you compare. Now, Stella's garden is longer. Stella's garden. Okay. Great job. Make your handwriting better than mine, okay? Okay. Now, look at the question 10. I will read it for you, but I'm not going to solve it with you. Brianna's bedroom is 6 meters wide. Oliver's bedroom is 596 centimeters wide. Whose bedroom is wider? I will give you a hint. 6 meters and 596 centimeters. Please don't forget what is the first step. You should do something before help yourself. And let me see your amazing work. See you later. Thank you for watching. Love you all.